Today, I'm going to show you an AI blogging system using DeepSeek. Everyone's talking about these models at the moment because they're very, very cheap and highly capable. I'll show you what a DeepSeek blog post looks like and compare it against a blog post using Claude 3.5 Sonnet. For this, you can add topics to an Airtable base. This automation will pick it up, use perplexity to research the topic, and then create a fully formatted WordPress post with Flux 1.1 Ultra images. Here is an example of the outputted article where you see pretty well structured text, a key takeaway section. As we scroll down, we actually have internal links which have been scraped from the website's sitemap. And here we have correct links to the sources. This is an adapted version of the AI blogging system that I went through on our main channel. So check out the link in the description for that. That one used Anthropic Claude to come out with some really good text. I then released a separate video talking about Open Router, which is a fantastic service that you can integrate directly with make.com to very easily swap out whatever models you want. Using this service, you can swap back and forth between so many different language models, such as Claude, OpenAI, Meta's Llama, Grok, and many more. In this case, we have a variable set at the bottom here, and then we're set in whatever language model we want to use for the entire automation. DeepSeek have a bunch of different models we can use for this. DeepSeek V3 is like their main competitor to Claude 3.5 Sonnet or OpenAI's GPT-40. It's quite a capable model, but look at the difference in price. This is 14 cent per million input tokens or 28 cent per million output tokens. If we compare that against Claude, it's $3 per million input tokens or $15 per million output tokens. So that's just so much cheaper. You can see the difference between DeepSeek R1 and OpenAI's O1 equivalent here. Again, just way, way cheaper. In the article I'm about to show you, I use DeepSeek Chat, which is DeepSeek V3. DeepSeek V3 works very nicely for this automation. It came out with this article I'm about to show you. The model that everyone's talking about at the moment, which is DeepSeek R1, just did not work properly within this setup that I had in this automation. In some cases, it just was not really returning the output that we wanted and instead was returning what seemed to be like its chain of thought, such as don't return the full HTML for the article. I'm not sure, is it Open Router's integration with or one or not, but overall DeepSeek Chat V3 was the best model to use for this automation and also very, very cheap. I'm quickly going to compare the output of an article using DeepSeek V3 compared to Anthropic's Claude 3.5 Sonnet, which is the main model we recommend for blogging at the moment. Okay, we have this Flux 1.1 Ultra image. Out of the box, I think DeepSeek V3's writing it's very good and very technically correct. Its tone is quite robotic out of the box, kind of similar to GPT-40. DeepSeek's models at the moment are really taking the AI world by storm due to their reasoning capabilities. And perhaps I'm making incorrect correlations here, but it really seems to be pointing out the particular facts and data items within this bold and within the text. In general, the same applies throughout the rest of this article, really. Overall, it's been very concise. It's trying to hit all of the data items quickly with this. It very much reads like a report, but it is very solid and very cheap. As you can see here, it's correctly added in these internal links, which is scraped from the website sitemap. And it's added in these sources at the end of the article, which are correct links to websites. If we compare this against what Claude 3.5 Sonnet was coming out with, overall, the difference here is tone. I, I know this slightly different research and data items, but when you're comparing these models, it's mostly just a kind of a vibe test when you're comparing them, especially when it comes to something as subjective as writing style and tone. But overall, I think the Claude version of this article just kind of reads a bit better and feels more like a blog post. But it's very difficult to argue with the cost difference here. This is DeepSeek V3 is 28 cent per million output tokens. Claude 3.5 Sonnet is $15 per million output tokens. If you're happy with the overall writing style of this and if you need to scale your content systems, then this could really be a good option. And of course, you can use this open router template setup to be able to go back and forth to be able to test lots of different AI models. All you need to do is go to open router, find an AI model, copy and paste this out, and just change the variable value there. And every single model call for the rest of that scenario will then call that model. An upgrade that I added to this version of the automation is that now Perplexity returns a list of citations in their response. So the URLs for the sources within your article are now way more reliable. We're now adding these as links to the bottom of the sources in the article and with rel nofollow in the links. If you want to learn how these blogging systems work in more detail, then check out the links in the description to other videos on our channels. If you want to get way ahead in your AI automation journey, then check out the link in the description to our community. We will get access to all of our automation templates. You'll get instant access to all of these courses with more on the way. You can get support from us via our live workshops and through our active discussion boards.